And I'll have fun, fun, fun till my wife takes my T-bird away. Bum, 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 bum. You know why? You know why you're going to have fun till your wife takes your T-bird away? Because you're going to do this, you maniac, you complete crazy person. Look at this. Oh, oh it's fidget friendly, man. I can't stop myself. I can top flip it. I can button whack it. I can finger flick it. I can front flip it. I can do everything. First, you got to close it and flip it. And there he goes. T bird. T bird. Vosteed. 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 Vosted. It's whatever it is. It's the T bird, damn it. You want it? I, I know I wanted. And it dropped like months ago. And it's like, I didn't get in on it. Son of a. You know what? And I, I said, I wanted this red G Mascus thing. It's like, I wasn't going to do it until I could get the red G Mascus. But. Baby, let me tell you something, mister. Mister. Check this out. Oh, now they got this multicolored G10 thing. All of a sudden, it started making me wonder, did I make the wrong decision? Oh, what the hell? And it is the high-class knife because it's big dollar day. Big dollar. Um, and... These are carried, I believe, at White Mountain. Now you're going to say White Mountain, 129 bucks, And if that's the price they're on White Mountain, then 10% discount code LTK. So $130 bucks minus $13. Okay? So they're starting to get uh, controllable there. And what did I do? To my gut? What did I set this down in? And I don't know what I set it down in. Is that better? No, I don't know. Whatever it is, I got on it. Now I guess I'll need to hose it down. Um, G10 G Mascus. Whew. Right or left hand tip up carry. And I've carried this. You know, th this is easy to carry because it's easy to carry. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's fairly lightweight. It's fairly slender. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate in your pocket. It's super fidget friendly. It's deep carry. And then they put this boat anchor as a backspacer, like brass, bronze, copper, whatever, canibulation. Ah, three and a half ounces. Not bad. Not too shabola. And 99, almost. If it was 110 more, it'd be 100 grams, 100 grams. There's not a lot of super strong detent on here. Okay, so it may be a little light for your taste. I don't know. But the thing is, it's just so many ways to open it and uh, flip it. It's ultra fidget friendly. That's why she's going to throw something at you. Canned vegetables or something. While you're sitting there flipping it, watching the game, they're going to be angry with you. And then they're going to take your T-bird away. And wow, um, that will not be pleasant. And you got a little blocker plate there so you can flip the clip. You can get out here even if you want. Just insane. How many ways are there to open a T-bird? I don't know. I haven't I haven't got the full count yet. But yeah, it's it's insane. I don't know. Maybe it's getting a little too I don't know. Too much. Like why don't we just make a knife? Uh but at least when it's open, doesn't this, this looks totally sensible. Looks great i like the design i was always attracted to this design still am like it a lot and you know what it's not a tiny knife either it's not a huge knife but it's not a tiny knife so this is probably pretty middle of the road acceptable to a lot of people not quite three and a half inch blade but close enough don't you think 90 millimeters and 8.15 inches overall length at 20 and a half 
centrometers. Yeah, so, oh, and by the way, I'm sure it's six millimeter thick blade stock as you start laughing. Hold on, hold on. 0.10, that's 2.6 millimeters, okay. Uh, and 11.7 millimeter thick, 0.46. So it's pretty slender here. It's kind of par for the course here. A lot of them say three millimeter, but it's like at 2.7. I get it. Maybe it's three millimeter over here on the corner. I don't know, but it's close. I uh, got a little teardrop type cutaway thing. But yeah, it's easy to flick out and it's easy to bounce off the stop when you see what I'm doing. When you return it. So don't get too don't get too uh, joyful slapping it around. Maybe you kind of let it come back to you. Actually, if you hold it like this, then it won't pop off the stop. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of just making it come back to itself. Now it's not having a problem because it's not dropping so violently. It's centered. Nah, there's no play or anything. Oh, by the way, will it cut anything? Okay, let's try that out. Okay, well, that took care of that problem. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good factory edge, actually. It's, it's a little bit better than the standard stuff that's been rolling through here so this is pretty good and it's stupid steel it's s35bn so it is super steel royale a little fuller in there kind of make things interesting for you and yeah not overly heavy but isn't that full size three and a half 8.15 as slender as a paramilitary two, yeah, almost exactly the same. Blade stock thinner than a PM2. Uh, the weight, pretty dang close. PM2 is around 3.8, so this is right there with it. Um, and it's got Gmascus, man. Um, I'm thinking, let me let me turn on my magic, my, my crystal ball. I'm thinking three inch blade. I'm thinking mini T-bird. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna happen? Yeah, I kind of think it might. Okay, do I know that for sure? No, but I have a premonition. Um, and I guess they're more likely to go small than they are big because you already got a three and a half inch blade here. So what are they going to do? Go 3.75? Might be a push to get them to do that. I, I think it wouldn't hurt to stiffen the detent a little bit. And maybe yours is a little bit more uh, engaged than this one. This one, not terribly... Um, stiff detent okay now what do we got okay we got a whole bunch of junk in the trunk thunderbird okay so you can join the thunderbird ranks and hey, put this patch on your uniform <laughs> this is one of the thunderbird yeah don't go don't go climbing in their jets okay not those thunderbirds okay and then this we just got a scorpion there i probably not want to grab that away from him and then here's Thunderbird again, badassery. Support the Vosteed people. And there's about your knife, 3.48 inches. And it's a copper backspacer. And you got microfiber cloth. So you got all this in this kind of metal box, right? Uh, you're a metalhead now. What, what do we got? And then this is, you know. Man. Here you go. That's it. Okay. That, that's all you get to see. You got to buy one. You want to get any further? And these are always weird because like the raccoon or any... Oh, God. Uh, no, I'm not going to show you my other ones. I got another five different models. I've got the ball Cree. I got the raccoon. I got the freaking Bellamy. I got, I got them all in, in the drawer. Over there. Over there. 
I'm not going to drag them all out. Or I might here in a minute. I don't know. Okay. But then it, it, this is weird because that, that zipper pouch just kind of tucks into that lower tray. It's kind of weird. but I mean, it works, but it's different. And then you get this sleeve over the top. And then here, nothing but lies. Trek lock. What was that? What was the Trek? Oh, not button lock. Okay, so what did I do? I didn't call it the official company word, Trek lock. But you know what? Whew. Yeah, I've been seeing people run around doing these on Instagram, like all this fidgeting, and I've hated them. But now I got my own, so I don't hate them anymore. Now I've got one. Now you can hate me and them all together until you get one, and then you'll be hated. Now, let's see what it's going to do when we pull this dog apart. Let's throw the blue mat out. Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Blue, red, black, all this kind of crazy here. And how am I doing this? Okay. This is okay. So this. Nope, that ain't moving. Okay. It's coming apart. I think these Vosti people, you know what? These people have, they didn't just kind of stumble into the market half-ass or anything. It looks like they've been pretty intentional. I really didn't know where they were going to be heading when I first got one of their first knives, which was a nightshade. I really didn't, I wasn't certain that they were going to make it or be significant. You know what? They are kicking, they are kicking ass. And look at this, number eight screw on the body. Uh-oh, is it going to turn both ways or not? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so let's do you right here. You hold on to this side, I'll get it from this side. We'll come around the back. And we will tore it up. There we go. Now I feel her letting go. Okay, come on. Okay, we're, I think we're done. Okay, let's throw these over here. What do we got? Okay, we got a big mess. Okay, so we've got nested liners that are skeletonized. And here's our little end piece here that's our pass-through. And this is where the button goes in. And there's captured pivot areas squared off, etc. There's your copper backspacer that's cut away for your little lanyard pin here, okay? And a screw and a spring, springy thingy, okay? Springy thingy, get over here. Here you go, drop you in here. Okay, now, uh, oh, let's figure out where we can uh, break you away. Okay, pop this up, okay. Now, uh, what, were we, what were we planning on doing? We we're going to take this all out. And we got this hung in the middle. There we go. Okay, with ceramic bearings. Bang, bang, boom. Okay, got that. Uh, yeah, squared off, captured pivot. Pops out. Here we are. And yeah, but squared off on the other side. So on the opposite scale. This one? No, this one turns. But... Until it gets to the other side where it's going to have to line up with the squared off area on the other liner. And that will capture this and keep it in place. Okay. So like that, kind of. But there's where your button lock goes. Uh, there's your stop. Spring. Backspacer. Button. Blade. And all the uh, crazy accoutrements therein, right? So how this comes out of here, um, I don't know. I've done, I've, you know, I've had these types of knives, and I always just leave the button rolling around here because I don't need it to be out for any particular reason. So to hell with it. I just need to know. You know, what's in the guts and can you service the knife if you need to clean out the pivot and stuff? And you can. So we're good there.
Okay, now, I may have got the pivot screw on this one a little tighter than it was before. And so maybe it's not so bouncy off the off the stop now. So maybe that's not a bad thing. But uh, there's no play. There was no play before in it. So it's it's locked up tight. But maybe just giving it a little bit more made it settle down a little bit. But it's uh it's good now. And it's the T-Bird, the Thunderbird from Vosteed. So check it out online. Uh, the problem is they'll be sold out. Then they'll be back in stock. Then they'll be sold out. They'll be back in stock. So check their Instagram and you can DM them because they'll answer you and tell you when the next batch might be in and available and that kind of thing. But yeah, um... Kind of a little bit of a, uh, you know, hollow grind in here and a compound grind flat here, hollow grind there. What? No wonder it's nice and slicey, huh? We like it because we do. We love them nice. You guys stay sharp.